for many years, Sketch was the undisputed king of user interface and user experience design. It was the go-to platform for web designers looking to create cutting-edge interfaces. Its distinct features catapulted the UI design industry to new heights. However, as the industry evolved, Figma, a web-based multi-platform collaborative system, a new Sketch alternative appeared. But that begs the question, which tool wins in a Figma vs Sketch matchup? Hello everyone and welcome to this engaging video on Figma vs Sketch. There are numerous key differences that may influence your decision between Sketch and Figma for your UI design needs. In this video, we will compare and contrast Figma vs Sketch so you can make an educated decision about which one is best for your next responsive web design project. With that being said, let us take a look at the agenda for this video. First, we will talk about what is Figma, then we will look into what is Sketch, then we will look at the key features of Figma, similarly we will look at the key features of Sketch, then we will discuss the pros and cons of using Figma, similarly the pros and cons of using Sketch and then we will talk about Figma vs Sketch and with that we will conclude. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive regular updates from us. So let us begin by understanding what is Figma. Figma is a design tool that works in the cloud to create user interfaces, websites, mobile applications and other digital designs. It enables designers to create and collaborate on designs with team members, stakeholders and clients in real time. Figma has many features such as vector editing tools, prototyping capabilities and interactive design features. Figma allows designers to create and share design components and systems, making it easier to maintain design consistency across multiple projects. Now we look at what is Sketch. Sketch is a vector graphics editor and digital design tool that can be used to create user interfaces, websites, mobile apps and other digital designs. It is a popular design tool for creating high quality designs and prototypes by designers, developers and product teams. Sketch includes vector editing tools, pixel perfect precision, artboards for creating multiple designs in a single file and the ability to create reusable components and design libraries. Now let's talk about some of the key features of Figma. Figma has many key features that make it a stellar and popular service throughout the UI design industry. First is cloud based. Figma is a cloud based tool that can be accessed from any computer with an internet connection allowing remote teams to collaborate on designs. Second is real time collaboration. Figma allows multiple designers to work on the same design at the same time, making it simple to receive feedback and make changes in real time. Next is multi-platform support. Figma is available on a variety of platforms including web browsers, desktop apps for Mac and Windows and mobile apps for iOS and Android. Fourth is auto layout. Figma's auto layout feature enables designers to create dynamic designs that automatically adjust to different content and screen sizes. Finally, design systems. Figma enables designers to create and manage design systems, making it simple to maintain consistency and reuse design elements across multiple projects. Now we look at the key features of Sketch. Sketch is a powerful design tool with a wide range of features and some of the key ones include vector editing tools. Sketch includes a number of vector editing tools that enable designers to precisely create and manipulate shapes, paths and other design elements. Second is Artboards. Sketch includes an artboard feature that allows designers to create multiple designs in a single file, making it easier to manage and organize designs for various devices and screen sizes. Third is reusable components and design libraries. Sketch allows designers to create reusable components and design libraries which can save time and ensure consistency across different designs. Fourth is plugins and integrations. Sketch has a large ecosystem of third-party plugins that can extend its functionality and automate repetitive tasks. Finally, prototyping capabilities. Sketch has built-in prototyping features that enable designers to create interactive designs and test user flows. Now we'll look at some of the pros and cons of using Figma. Starting with the pros, Figma has a number of benefits that make it one of the most popular sketch alternatives on the market. For starters, it is very accessible and can be accessed on a variety of platforms. It also has flexible vector manipulation and real-time collaboration, making it simple to collaborate with a remote team and create truly masterful UI designs. It also has a simple developer handoff, which allows you to move each project to the next stage with very few clicks. Finally, 
Figma is also incredibly simple to learn thanks to its wealth of educational resources for both new and experienced users. Moving to some of the drawbacks, Despite its many advantages, Figma has a few drawbacks that should not be overlooked when looking for a UI design platform. First, Figma is very much a younger service than Sketch, having only begun to roll out integrations and apps in 2019. That is, it has a small integration library that pales in comparison to what the competition has to offer. However, it's likely that it will grow over time and this negative will become a positive. While using Figma, online is ideal. You will require an internet connection to access its features offline mode is not available now we'll look at some of the pros and cons of using sketch there are numerous benefits to using sketch there are several reasons why it has been a favorite among designers over a decade one of its benefits is its longevity because it has been around for so long many people are accustomed to it that means there is a lot of advice available many website designers learn on this system so there are resources for anyone who wants to use sketch to its full potential Sketch also has an incredible number of third-party integrations that have been developed over time to provide the most personalized sketch experience possible. Because this is a locally installed program, it can also be used while not connected to the internet. This is a huge benefit for anyone who has intermittent internet or who needs to work on the go when Wi-Fi isn't available. Now we'll look at some of the cons. Sketch also has a number of drawbacks that prospective users should consider before purchasing. For example, Sketch is only available on a Mac. So if you are used to designing on a PC or simply cannot afford an expensive Mac laptop, you won't be able to use this system. While it's fantastic that the company has developed a real-time collaboration web app, the service is still in its early stages and has limitations. It will become a huge benefit over time, but for now, Figma makes it far easier to collaborate. The Sketch software must be installed locally on your computer. This consumes hard drive space and may have a negative impact on the speed of your Mac. Now let's talk about Figma versus Sketch. Now that we have covered the fundamental advantages and disadvantages of Figma and Sketch, let's compare the two in several categories. Starting with collaboration, Figma enables real-time collaboration across all platforms. The system works similarly to Google Docs in that users can collaborate on the same project and make visible changes and comments in real time. You can even see the mouse movements of other users with no syncing or lag time issues. When it comes to collaborative design, Sketch only introduced this feature in 2021 via a web app. All of your collaborators will need paid Sketch subscriptions as well, and the feature like the software itself is only available on the Mac. Moving on to cost effectiveness, Figma's pricing is far more transparent with different pricing plans available. The Figma starter plan is free, but it has some limitations. You are limited to working on 3 Figma files and 3 FigJam files. When built annually, the professional plan on Figma costs $12 per editor per month. If you want a month to month subscription, the cost is $15 per editor per month. You get unlimited Figma files and unlimited version history and sharing permission with the professional plan. The organization plan costs $45 per editor per month and is only available on an annual basis. You can create organization wide libraries with this plan. You can also perform system analytics as well as branching and merging. The enterprise plan is Figma's most expensive option. It costs $75 per month per editor and $5 per month per FigJam editor. This plan allows for annual billing and provides more flexible controls and advanced security. Whereas Sketch software plan is available in two different pricing plans. The Sketch standard plan is $9 per month per editor. It also includes an unlimited number of free viewers. The pricing of the business plan is unknown because Sketch does not make the information public. To qualify for the business plan, you will need minimum of 25 editors. Single sign-on, unlimited cloud storage, invoice billing, live chat technical support, a dedicated customer success manager, and customized security reviews and terms are all included in the Sketch business plan. Moving on to ease of use, because the two services have similar interfaces, switching between them is simple once you've learned how to use one. Figma provides how-to guides and instructional videos to help new users get up and running quickly. Sketch has few official information guides available, but the system has been around for a long time and there is a plenty of information available. Moving on to extensibility, Figma added integrations in 2019, but few options are still available. 
few of the examples of common integration functions are prototyping, translations, animations, and developer handoff. Whereas Sketch has a large number of plugins and integrations available. This massive app library is comparable to WordPress's impressive theme and plugin library. It is in charge of the enhanced personalization available throughout the Sketch experience. Finally, we look at performance and speed. Many factors can influence your speed, from the amount of space on your hard drive to the WordPress theme you use for your website. There have been no reports of speed or lag issues with Figma, and collaborative design sessions can take place in real time. Sketch is a locally installed application on a Mac, so internet speeds have no bearing on its performance. As a result, it has high performance and speeds and can function even when your device is turned off. Sketch is a powerful vector-based design tool with a strong focus on interface design. It has a range of vector editing tools, artboards and plugins that make it a popular choice among UI UX designers. Sketch's native app is only available for Mac OS which may limit its accessibility for some users. Figma on the other hand is a cloud-based design tool that emphasizes collaboration and design systems. Figma is accessible on various platforms including web browsers, desktop apps for Mac and Windows, and mobile apps for iOS and Android. In conclusion, both Figma and Sketch are powerful design tools with a wide range of features and capabilities. Choosing the right tool depends on the user's specific needs and preferences, as well as their design workflow and collaboration requirements. With that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in UI UX design, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in UI UX design strategy. It is taught by IIT Guwahati professors and industry experts with more than 10 years of experience. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job. 